Right then, are you ready for this one? So this one says it's harder. So here is a box, it has a base, but no top. Oof, we're saying it's open now. The dimensions are marked on the diagram. It has a surface area of 486 centimetres square. And I want to maximise the volume. So this is the one, so this is the equation, which I'll rearrange. This is what I want to solve. Now, if you look at the, the face, I've just done it as a worked example, so it's already done for you. So we're happy that the volume is the three dimensions multiplied together. The surface area, let's have a look how they've done this then. So 2x squared, that's the base of it, isn't it? 2xh, now be careful, the front bit is 2xh, the back is 2xh, so that bit there, the 4xh is the front and back. One of the sides is xh, so two sides, the left and the right, is 2xh. Right then, so this is for the surface area. So I know that 486 is my 2x squared plus 6xh. Right, now then. The issue, the reason why I did it, I've not really talked about it in the last one. X and H can change. So X and H can change. So they're called variables. But also that would lead to V changing. So that's a variable as well. So we've got three variables. Now we haven't done multivariable calculus. What we need is two variables, a V on the left and either an X or a H on the right. So we need two variables and that's what we do because when we have like Y equals X squared, it was Y on the left and X on the right. So this is why I'm rearranging. Now I'll rearrange for the easiest bit. So if you look at the, the, the equation that I've circled, the easiest bit is to get a H on its own. So I took away the 2X squared and divided through by 6. Mm. Part of me would say, is it easy just to divide through by 2 as well? Because you can cancel down there a little bit, couldn't you? To make it easier for you. Uh, you still get the same answer, I guess. So that bit there is going, is replacing the H. And it gives me this equation. I have to expand the brackets and I have to simplify. Um, I would argue... Simplifying them first is better, because that's just x over 3 that you're multiplying through by. But you get the same for v. Let's put some v's here. So you get that. So I've got my equation there. So I've got my equation just with two variables, v on the left, x on the right. So now I'm going to do my stationary points. There. Stationary. Solve it, I get 9 out. I can't have a negative length, can I? So really I should put some justification as x is greater than 0, comma, x is 9. So with that width of 9, I've summed it back into the h equation, somewhere up there, to work out what the h is. So I've got that. I've kind of worked out the volume as well. Oof, got that. Right now then, I need to check if it's a max or min. So if I differentiate it again, I get minus 4x. If I put 9 in, I get minus 36. So it's telling us that because it's less than 0, it's a maximum volume. There. Now there are, there are two questions for you on page 9 and page 10 plus a load of consolidation questions. So that's that lesson done. Well done, everybody. Two equations, rearrange and sub one in, and then just do stationary points. That's all it is. See you later.